Yes, this is dog poop. And I've thought of mating, making this video for a long time, and I think I'm finally going to do it. I'm in my backyard here in Seattle, Washington, and I'm picking up dog poop, as I said, and it dawned on me that this would be a good teaching lesson for our MAR course for missing pet partnership. This is Zeke, and there's my dog Cody. Both Zeke and Cody poop <laughs> every day. And I want to talk a little bit about probability of area and probability of detection. And every time I come out and pick up the poop, I'm always thinking in terms of that this would be a great teaching example, and so I finally am getting around to recording it. So as we taught in the course, probability of area means, uh, in terms of a missing pet, means how likely is the missing pet that I'm looking for going to be in this area? If I were to demonstrate that with poop, I would be thinking in terms of, I know my dogs and I know where they poop. And I can tell you that over by the deck there is one of Cody's areas. If I walk over there right now, I can tell you with certainty that I'm going to find several piles of poop. I can tell you that this area right by the shed here is a low probability of area. In fact, I can go over there right now and I can tell you we're not going to find any poop over here. And if we do, then I'm just going to delete this and not make this video. But this is pretty much a poopless area because Cody does not poop in this area. So in terms of missing cats or miss, when you're doing an area search, you're thinking how likely or how probable is it that the cat will be in this area. I'm walking over now to the area that I know is Cody's poop ground. And that is right here. And voila. Where did it go? Yeah, that's a pile. And there's a pile. And I'll probably find a pile on my shoe. But the point is, with probability of area, you're looking at a map of an area or of a neighborhood after interviewing the cat owner and determining, okay, how likely is it that the cat would be in this area? Well, if it's a cat's territory, then the cat could likely be in that area. But if, it, if it's a sighting that somebody calls and says that they saw the calico cat four miles away, that's a lower probability area. Now we'll talk about probability of detection. So the difference is, is probability of detection is, okay, if there's a cat in this area, how likely would it be for me or my search dog to be able to find it? Whereas um, in terms of looking for dog poop, if there was a pile of poop in this area, how likely would it be that I would find it? Well, probably with the bottom of my shoe, pretty likely. When you start looking at the fact that the ground here is covered with black leaves or dark leaves and the poop blends into it, then your probability of detection would get low. And I see my dog digging a hole right now. Zeke, come here, you bad dog. Um, if I'm talking in terms of looking for a missing cat in say my backyard here, well, I could search that deck pretty well. We have a shed here with areas that a cat could be hidden in here, but you could go to a next yard and find that there's hardly any hiding areas, except that this yard does have some uh, a shed in some areas that a cat could be hiding. But, but probability of detection is if the cat is here. Imagine that this is real tall grass and it would be impossible to see the poop or imagine that this was real um, well-groomed uh, kind of golf course type grass. You would easily then be able to detect. You'd have a, a high probability of detection if that was the case. So so anyway, I've just always thought of, of doing the, um, the poop story mainly because I just get bored out here doing this week after week. Okay, I mean day after day. I do scoop every day. Yeah, right. Okay, bye.